secular or any religion, their chastity is different than ours. Mm -hmm. So they, it, it's okay. it, for them, maybe uh, their chastity is not to uh, fornicate. Yeah. But it's okay for them to go to the beach with wearing bikinis or, or drink beer or something. When, wh whatever. In Islam, definitely, this is not the point. Yes. Hmm. Um, is it difficult to be faithful? I mean, if somebody thinks he is not faithful or that he um, is doing bad things which would reduce his, faith, his faithfulness, is it easy for a person to become faithful again, for example? I mean, does a person, some people may feel that they've lost faith, that um, I, I've met a number of people and that after they've lost or one of their families passed away, they tend to stop praying, for example. They tend to give a distance between themselves and, and God, but they believe that they've lost faith. Well, this form of losing faith nullifies Islam. Hmm. The minute you lose faith in Allah, or you lose trust in Allah, or you judge Allah's actions by saying, this is weird. Why did you do this to me and not to him? Mm. I pray five times. And, and I've heard this from lots of people. Mm. I visited some uh, 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 old man in a hospital once. He is like 60 years old. And, and I was telling him, yani, the best of luck and I hope that you get well and so on. This is all part of uh, erasing your sins because whatever happens to a Muslim, Allah Azza wa Jal erases his sins, as, as we all know that. Any, any tragic thing, any catastrophe, any uh, disease, any poverty, mm -hmm. and so on. And to my surprise, the old man said, this is unfair. I've been praying for him for almost 60 years. And this what he does to me? I have a neighbor that never prayed once in his life. And he is as strong as the bull. He's got the money, he's got the kids, and <laughs> this is, un I told him, <clears throat> by what you have said, you nullified your Islam. Because you are objecting yeah. on That's Allah's true. decree to you, and you're not accepting it. This life is a test. So, whatever happens to you, this is considered to be a test. So, going back to you, your question, mm -hmm. because I keep on losing track. Your question was the question. The, the the beginning of the question was, is it a difficult process for one to be faithful? Okay, it, it's it's it is difficult and it's not difficult. Hmm. Depends on Allah's support to you, and you have to believe something and you have to notice it and be careful. Allah Almighty gives health, gives wealth, gives uh, uh, prosperity to those whom he loves and those right. whom he doesn't. So he gives all of these things to the Muslims and to the non-Muslims. And sometimes he gives them to the non-Muslims out of testing. Mm -hmm. But Allah gives faith only to those he loves. So because Allah Azza has guided you to Islam, he has chosen you from all the others and told you that this is the religion that he wants for you and you have accepted it then Allah Azza loves you now the level of Iman there are levels of Iman so depending where you are you can determine where, what Allah's love to you so if you see yourself mm -hmm. that you are performing the five prayers in the masjid you're fasting Ramadan you are excellent with your parents with your wife with your children with your neighbors with your subordinates with your bosses you have excellent uh, 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 attributes and characteristics with the others. You don't lie, you don't fornicate, you don't cheat, you don't do sin. Then you know that Allah Azza wa loves you. This is a clear indication uh -huh. that Allah loves you and that your faith is at its peak. But to reach the top is easy. To mm. maintain, it's, hard. To maintain. It's, it, yes. it's very hard. You know, going down is far easier than climbing up. So, it is easy to those who Allah Azza wa Jalla support them. And it's difficult to those who have second thoughts. Mm -hmm. Never ever have second thoughts when it comes to faith. Because Allah Azza wa Jalla tells us in the, in the Quran that Allah Almighty uh, 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 um, turns over the hearts 
of those who yeah. did not believe at first glance, did not believe at the first instant. The minute you hesitate, then you've lost it. Hmm. You have to believe in Allah Azza wa Jal and try your best to go out of your way to increase your Are there ways to maintain then faith? Or is it just the same process again? It's the same process of fearing Allah Azza wa Jal. Hmm. And this comes at the top of the list. You have to fear that faith can easily be detached from you. If you sit comfortably and say, I'm a faithful person, I pray five times a day, I'll die as a Muslim. I have no problem, I fear nothing. Then this means that you are arrogant and Allah Azzawajal may test you and give something that you may fail in this test. Hmm. You have to have the fear. Though I'm a good Muslim, though I'm a good believer, though I'm committed to all the good deeds and I'm away from bad uh, uh, ones, yet I'm still afraid. I'm not dead yet. So, I don't know what's going to come to me in the future that mm -hmm. may decrease my Iman or nullify it completely. So, this fear is on the top of the list. Afterwards, the good deeds uh, uh, that you try to make come uh, in line. I'd like to thank you, of course, Sheikh Asim Luqman Hakim. It's been a pleasure having you with us on Youth Talk. Thank you very much for joining us. I'd also like to thank uh, my three participants. That's um, Osama, Mahmoud and Muhammad. Thank you all for joining us. That's it for this episode of Youth Talk. We'll be back again with a new topic. Until then, assalamu alaikum.